The strengths of visual arts at NCAT are its breadth and diversity. I don't think there's really any other school that offers the broad range of programs in the visual arts that we do. We have visual communication and design, studio arts visual arts, studio arts photography, media, creative and digital media, screen and media video, product design and technology. In product design and technology, students get an opportunity to come up with a great idea and then turn it into an actual product. In multimedia, we're given the opportunity to experiment with uh, various concepts within the multimedia realm. This includes podcasting, web design, animation, design games as well. There's a respect and acknowledgement of those traditional media forms, and then we're just consistently looking for ways to push those boundaries. So we've got our usual film and animation, and we've also got things like uh, magazine covers, posters. Uh, we're going to do apps now. It's kind of like that you need to learn those rules before you can break them. It really is about them developing their own visual language and their capacity to express their ideas in visual form. Visual communication and design is a VC subject and that's really helpful to prepare for uni. Within the visual arts umbrella we also have the arts immersion program which is a vocational learning program where students are in a studio environment for four days a week. And they also get all their literacy and numeracy through that. Art immersion is honestly the best thing for a student who wants to discover themselves as an artist. Like ever since I've come here I've learned more and more and I never stop learning and I love it. The way that we build the timetable is so that those visual arts subjects have pride of place and that students who come here and want to study those subjects know that they can confidently have a range of visual arts. So what NCAT really does is emphasise the importance of applying your time towards what you want to specialise in terms of your craft. Moving to NCAT, I had a very clear picture of what I wanted to do and that was why I came to the school in the first place, but it has at the same time really opened the doors to a lot more opportunities and options for me and that's been really exciting for me. I get them to start seeing that they're building their career now. You know, if students have a YouTube channel, they share that with the class. Or if they want to start a YouTube channel, it's like, let's start it. It's really about seeing themselves as practitioners in the field and building that whilst they're still learning. The school itself has encouraged me to be a part of this shoot that we're doing now. So they really push you. I think that the skills that you get from nurturing creativity and working with other people and meeting deadlines, they're transferable skills to all industries. Students are treated as adults here. Their own incredibly positive relationships established between staff and students right from the get-go, right from the start. You're starting to build your network. Your classmates are actually your colleagues and so are your teachers. Definitely get a sense that students and teachers are just on a very level playing field and they're always you know, happy to have one-on-one -on -one individual learning. And they also want you to do your best. They genuinely care about you. You take those contacts with you into the industry. Fostering those relationships is really quite important. I think it's really important that our staff are practitioners in the field. I think being aware of the latest technology, you can only do that if you're still in practice yourself. They know what they're talking about, they've been in the field, they've experienced it, and then they can give you like prior knowledge. Having access to you know industry standard equipment is, is a really a fun and exciting thing to have. This includes like Dreamweaver for web design, Photoshop, Premiere, uh, Animate for animation. Cameras, podcast recording studios. Dark rooms, tripods and the lights. Sewing machines obviously, overlockers. Each student will have their own mannequin, they don't have to share. By the end of the day you're going to be covered in paint. Whilst we do really focus on the practical and hands-on skills that our students develop in the visual arts, we also have really high expectations when it comes to the academic outcomes. And that's because we really want to develop well-rounded students who not only can go and make the thing, but know how to write about it, communicate about it, promote themselves and really achieve, especially if they do want to go on to further tertiary study. If you're considering it, I think you should just go for it because it was the best decision of my life. Coming to school with a bunch of like-minded, nice people and surrounded by teachers who get it, it's really, really meaningful and exciting.